Hello everyone, this is Teacher Berlin and I will be your teacher for your English class today. We are now in quarter two of week two, day three. And for today's objective, we are going to use verbs in simple present and past tense. Are you all ready to learn? Now let's go. For your lesson for today, let us learn what is past tense and present tense. When we say past tense, the past tense of the verb is used to describe things that have already happened. And when we say present tense of the verb, it is used to describe things that are happening right now or happening regularly. Now kids, let's try to discover. Let us study the sentence below. Let us read. Sam played blocks. Now class, this sentence is in the past tense because the action is done in the past. For example, yesterday. So yesterday, Sam played blocks. Now to show that the sentence is in the past tense, we will look at the verb. In this sentence, Sam played blocks, our verb is played. So in the past tense, we will add ed to the verb to make it a past tense. That's why the word play become played. Now let's have another example. Let us study the sentence. Let us read the children play. Class, this sentence is an example of a sentence which is in the present tense. Why? Because the action happens today or every day. So the sentence here happens today. Now class, to show that the sentence is in the present tense, we will look at the verb. So in this sentence, the word play is our verb. So when the sentence is in the present tense, we will not add ed to the verb. So the word play will remain play. Class, remember, when we say past tense, it tells that the action or event has already happened. For example, it happened earlier in the day, yesterday, last week, or two years ago. Let's have some examples. I cleaned my room yesterday. Trisha washed her hands earlier. And when we say present tense, it tells that the action or event is happening at the moment or now, or it is regularly or habitually done. Let's have some examples. I take a bath every day. I always wash my hands. So these two examples are all in the present tense. Class, and that ends our lesson for today about present tense and past tense. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented in your module. If today's lesson is very clear to you, Congratulations! You may now answer the exercises in your module. See you again, kids, and good luck!